Is that all the general announcements? All right, then. We're moving on to formal proposals. And keep in mind, formal proposals are specifically for things that require consensus of everyone involved. In, and uh, it was decided last GA meeting that if you were to make a formal proposal, that we have people that um, are dedicated to carrying out each proposal. Does anyone have a formal proposal to bring to the table? I have a proposal. I have a proposal. That future proposals. That future proposals. First, first I'd like to explain the reasoning. Um, uh, I recognized before. I recognized before that we have had confusion. That, that we have had confusion when a proposal is brought up. When a proposal is brought up. Therefore, therefore, I would like to make a proposal. I would like to make a proposal that future proposals, that future proposals are put on the um, central billboard. Are put on the central billboard. Um, first, in the with the proposal itself. First, with the proposal itself, and with any reasonings behind it. And with any reasonings behind it. At least two hours before GA. At least two hours before GA. And hopefully, and hopefully. The person to propose it. The, the person, person to propose it is there 30 minutes before. Is there 30 minutes before to explain anything? To explain anything. That's my proposal. That's, That's my proposal. proposal. All right. Um. Now, uh, if we could just gauge general interest in this proposal, it, with a uh, hand. That is. Uh, um, I know there, uh, is there anyone openly against this proposal? Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Is there, is there opposition to this proposal? Or opposition to considering this proposal, right? Alright, um, then, since no one is opposed to considering, uh, with those who are opposed to the proposal, would you like to take the sack on that? Uh, please explain. I think uh, GA time is the time when we should discuss it, not before GA, although I do agree that it would be definitely helpful for proposals to be posted beforehand. All right, he says that the, uh, he says that GA is the time to discuss proposals, and uh, that they should be decided, that they, GA is the time to discuss proposals, and uh, that they shouldn't be formulated beforehand, basically. No, they should be. Or they, they, I, don't think, they should. I don't think someone should be required to be here beforehand to discuss it, because they're coming to GA to discuss it. Right. So it would, so that it would exclude uh, people that couldn't be here before GA? Exactly. All right. Understood. Um, any other? I just got here 15 minutes late. I just got here 15 minutes late. I just got here 15 minutes late. It missed uh, some things that I might have wanted to propose upon. It missed some, some things, things that I might have wanted to propose upon. upon. Maybe we can fix that. Maybe, Maybe we can fix that. that. By exchanging numbers with people who are going to be here earlier on in the day. By, By exchanging, exchanging numbers with people who are going to be here, here earlier on in the day. Well, that's here we should build a web. I feel right. we should build a web. Well, that seems like a separate proposal that you might want to bring up in informal proposals later. But uh, does anyone have anything? Sp uh, well, just it. Yes! Woo! Oftentimes, it uh, GA some will bring forth a proposal, and uh, the assembly will work with it and change it to be something that's different than what was initially brought forward. So, if we had like a draft version of of a proposal up there two hours prior and it might be like some people and it'll like already cement that idea in their minds and teams that my system is going to do. What he was saying was that if we had um, the proposals that we bring in GA are uh, are created with everyone in our consensus model and if we had 
the proposals pre-written beforehand, then we wouldn't have the active community participation between everyone at the GA. All right. Right here. Um, yes. Uh, that would just be for the proposal itself. Any amendments can be proposed as per usual. Is anyone? Uh, I think just what we're doing here is kind of uh, hashing out his idea, which is what we usually do. So possibly, if you'd be okay with it, maybe like a suggest suggestion board idea box. I reversed that, sorry. But uh, those things, just, just something to get some ideas flowing so people can think and have some ideas before we come here. Nothing concrete, not really set up what we're doing or anything, but just have some ideas. Like if, if you want to bring something up, maybe one of us can bring it up for you, especially if you don't want to talk in front of everybody. But suggestion boxes and uh, idea boards. So I think what you're, so what you're suggesting is we, we can have the, uh, the uh, we can have people post their proposal ideas on the board, yes. but we don't need to make proposals brought up in GA exclusive right. to ideas listed on that board. If it's not on the board, maybe it could be an informal one, and if it is, it could be a formal. I don't really think we need to set a really requirement for it, but it'd be a good idea to put them on the board. I don't think we need to limit it to only being the ones on the board. What's the need for the change in the way we were doing it? I thought everything was going to be okay. Um, I oh. just noticed that... Oh. Was there another? Right, uh, point, of point, of point of process. Point of process. Point of process. Facilitation team. Facilitation team should refrain, should refrain from exercising their opinions during GA. Yeah. Um, the reason I bring it up is that uh, I remember there's a couple of GAs where um, we just got bogged down in talking about the proposal, and I think that would be helped if there was some awareness of what we were going to be proposing beforehand. Um, uh, hello, my name's Silver. Hey, uh, Silver. Uh, what, what, they, what Richmond City Council does is uh, they introduce legislation and then it goes to a committee and then uh, <coughs> what happens is a piece of legislation is introduced at one meeting and then it's voted upon at the next meeting. <coughs> Is there any reason why we, we need to be able to pass uh, essentially what are our laws? Is there any reason we need to pass our, our proposals the same day that they're introduced? I think it would be kind of nice to have 24 hours to, to review uh, the legislation that's being proposed and, and then uh, people can hash it out during the next day and then, uh, and then it could be voted upon the next night and people would have more of an idea of what was being proposed. Just an idea. We have, we have one right here. I like that idea, but I would suggest that we still give uh, for something extremely important, like we found out the law and committee is coming tomorrow to take care of the stuff. We still give time. City City Council also has a process called expedited resolutions, and that maybe we could do that if the, the majority of people say this is something we need to address tonight, we're going to expedite it, and we're going to Bring it up tonight and, and vote on it tonight. So we could we could incorporate something like that also. I right now we're talking about like a shift in the like entire consensus model that we're talking about right now. Um, and just to uh, clarify for everyone, we already do have uh, 
methods to table things for further meetings that can be brought up later, making sure that that's understood uh, by everybody. But um, at this meeting, uh, I don't believe, like, I believe it was established at a former GA that we needed about a, um, I don't think we have the amount to change the process in that, in the, the amount of, uh, yeah, the amount of. is not to uh, uh, write things out ahead of time, but to table things when it's clear that there is a consensus. Um, okay, I, in light of what you have said, um, I would like to change my proposal that any non-emergency or non-same-day, like, necessary proposals are automatically tabled. And that, in order to not table them, there must be a vote. Could you repeat that? Um, I'm not sure I'll explain it better. Mike yeah, Mike check. Mike check. Mike check! Mike check! I propose... I propose... I propose that any uh, non-emergency proposals... That any non-emergency proposals... Or any proposals that are not required action of the same day... That are not required action, not required action of the same, same day... day. Are, ad automatically tabled are automatically tabled after a couple of um, yeah after introduction and um, a couple of voices raised on it. After introduction, a couple of voices raised on it. How's that sound? How's that sound? Somebody doesn't. We got Mike Jack. Mike Jack. Isn't that the point? Isn't that the point? Um, the thing about the emergency proposal is sensible in some way. I'm just wondering whether the problem is, well, who decides whether or not it's emergency or not? The majority, or consensus. Modified consensus. Um, I think maybe another sensible idea is that this Mic check! Mic check! Mic check! Mic check! I think another, I think another way to move things forward, way way to move move things things forward, forward would be, would be to, have time limits, to have time limits on each proposal. On each proposal. The GA can vote. The GA can vote. To extend conversation. To extend conversation. To extend conversation. If need, need be, be, but automatically table anything. But automatically table, table anything, anything that can't be resolved within say five minutes. That can't be resolved within say five minutes. In, in light of that comment, it My seems to me that we have brought up what what the original proposal has been changed in so many ways and so many ideas have come about that we would be best served if we table this idea right now and discuss this amongst ourselves after the GA meeting. And we brought up um, new ideas at a later time. All right, that seems right. All right. Um, any other formal proposals? Thank you, Michael. <coughs> Go ahead. Regarding the city council liaisons. Regarding, Regarding the, the city, city council, council liaisons. liaisons which we decided upon at yesterday evening's GA. Which we decided, decided at yesterday evening's GA. GA. And voted upon three people. Voted, voted upon, upon three people. people. That would hold the position for the next month. That, that would, would hold, hold the, the position, position for the next month. With elections to follow after that for replacements. With the elections to follow after that for replacements. Uh, it has since. It has since. It has since. Come, come to my understanding or clarity. Come, come to my understanding, understanding or clarity. clarity. That maybe at least one of these three positions should be staggered. At least one, one, one of these positions, positions should be staggered. So that we don't have three people doing it for a month, abruptly stopping, and then having a new group come on. So that we don't have three people doing it for a month, abruptly stopping, and having new people come on. By staggering at least one position, that person could help the transition.
Transition. I wish I had this constructed better. I wish I had this constructed better. I apologize for that. I apologize for that. But I think it's relevant. But I think, I think it's, it's relevant. relevant. What if you have all three staggered? Possible? Yeah. Instead of two out, one in. Ten day period of time. Alright, um. If I could just gauge like interest in this proposal right quick. Alright. Um yeah, so we'll take stack. More comments on it. Uh, the only thing that I'd suggest is uh, any time that we create a sort of hierarchy within a working group, I would I would sort of wanna make sure that we really want to do that. And when we create a different uh, 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 time for different uh, uh, durations of office holding, basically. I think that's kind of what we might be doing in a current situation where that could come about. Um, and that should be cause for concern because it kind of flies in the face of everything we're trying to do. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not trying to suggest different durations. However, at the beginning, that would be necessary to create the stack. Oh, I see. Right. Maybe every 10 days you elect somebody. Somebody's out, somebody's in. Every 10 days, somebody else gets elected. Except it had to be a longer time period because city council meetings are once every two weeks. That part doesn't matter. The part we go. What was that? Just saying. <laughs> uh, I don't other... know if that part matters because they'll be talking on a regular basis. There'll be one consistent person, whatever transition. But every 10 days, some fresh face comes in and we'll do that. Uh, um, by the way, what he said was that since city council, um, uh, <laughs> since there would be a near constant communication with city council, it wouldn't necessarily matter if it was during um, like the two week period that they convene, or during the every two week period that they convene. So, um, yeah. I feel that if uh, a diversity of people show their faces representing the occupation, then that looks great for us in the face of the city. I think that uh, one of the reasons that they asked for this council to be created is so they see a little bit of continuity so they don't see new people every single time, so they don't have to constantly reintroduce themselves. I think that's a good argument for staggering the uh, placement of individuals. What he, what he said was, um, he believed that one of the reasons that they asked that this committee be created is so that we could have, um, that they wouldn't need to meet a new face and that they could have some continuity and it would be easier for them. Uh, sorry to be talking so much. The reason they want that is because they work a different way than we do. Um, they're asking us to be more like them. Uh, they, maybe that's the right thing to do. Maybe we do need to have a continuous contact with them. Maybe that's in our best interest. But we need to make sure that we uh, think of this through. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the interest of thinking it through, maybe we should table this until tomorrow. Just about yeah. to say that, yeah. <laughs> These are proposals, um, not discussions. Okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> All in favor of tabling? All right. Uh, mic check. Mic check. check. This is a formal proposal. This is a formal proposal. That the welcome committee. That the welcome committee. Can get together. Can get together. And assign somebody. And assign somebody. Before each GA. Before each GA. That could wander. That could wander. Or do loops. Or do loops. And meet people. <laughs> and meet people. That are walking in during this. That are walking, that are walking in, in during this. this. Kind of explain things to them. Uh, kind of explain, explain things, things to them. them. So they don't feel left out. So they don't feel left out. And it's a good way to bring more people in. And it's, it's a good way to bring more people, more people in. in. We gauge interest. Okay, welcome committee, get on it. <laughs> Is that a proposal? That's pretty good. Uh, that was more of an informal proposal. Uh, okay. <laughs>
Um, any other formal proposals? No? And I would... Uh, yes? I think I would like to change the wording of whatever proposal forms this council liaison committee to make it... Yeah, speak the, 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 the committee that liaises with council would be expanded to liaise with all city officials that we deal with except the police, which we already have liaison for. Because I'm not sure how important this council will act regarding us, but there's the Department of Parks, there's the bicycle, there's a bicycle department, there's all kinds of city departments that actually might be more relevant to liaise with than city council. And so I'd like for a liaison committee to have that as their charge, as their position, as well as just city council. Window clarification. And sorry for this, but um, is it important that the GA specifically authorize them to do this? Do you, do you see this as important? Well, I don't know if a council liaison person can go and talk to the Department of Parks on what they said. Why not? Because they're called the city council liaison. Yeah. I would say, respond, I would say if there isn't a particular liaison designated, any of us can talk to them. So I don't see what the big Personally, I don't see the big deal is to make it. But. So, um, just general gauging of interest of, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so that, that's table for now. And uh, if there are no more formal proposals, I encourage everyone that has, uh, after this GA meeting, or, um, or just recognize, look around you, recognize the faces that spoke, if you have thoughts about the city council liaison, speak with each other, formulate ideas, and even put them up on the board, like we have, uh, as the idea we've been pretty conducive to. All right, and um, now we're moving on to informal proposals.